Good morning, lover. Oh, Brad, you sure got up early this morning. Yeah, c come on out and whip up some of those buttermilk pancakes I like. Got the fixings already. Come on, dear. All right. Boy, I haven't had buttermilk pancakes in a dog's age. Well, you deserve it, dear, for giving up fishing to spend the day with me. Honey, we're going to have a fine time. We certainly will. You are. Woo, poor Sally and Wally. Looks like it's going to rain. Yeah. And when it rains, the water really gets rough. And windy. Yeah. And the, and the boat starts to rock. Ooh. <laughs> Brad, please, I, I can't take it. Oh, I certainly don't envy those two. Oh, you couldn't get me on that boat today for a million dollars. No, sir, not for a million dollars. Don't worry, don't worry. I wouldn't try. I... I couldn't afford it. I wonder if Sally and Wally are seasick yet. I'd be very surprised if they are. They haven't had breakfast yet. Wally said they were going to stop on the road. They won't be on the boat for at least an hour. And boy, then the fun will begin. Gee, that weather looks bad. Sure hope Wally doesn't get my shotgun wet. The rust is bad for it. No, my father had a gun one time, and I'll never forget what... <laughs> Dad, did you uh, say something about your gun? Yes, I said I hope Wally doesn't get my shotgun wet. He came by early this morning to borrow it. Plans to get some duck hunting in at the island. Wally's got your shotgun with him now? Yes, but I'm not worried about it. Wally knows how to take care of a shotgun. I've seen him shoot. <laughs> I want to go fishing. <laughs> if we leave right now, dear, we can get to the boat before they shove off. Come on. But, jo but Joni. No, dear, I I've been thinking, why should we spend our time cooped up in this house when they're out there having all that fun? Fun? But you said you'd be miserable on a boat. Oh, well, I guess I just didn't realize how much I'd like it. Oh, the uh, wind in your face, the salt air, the spray, the billowing foam. <laughs> Joni, Joni, I don't get it. A couple of minutes ago, you said you wouldn't get aboard that boat for a million dollars. I know I got my price. I'm doing it now for six hundred. <laughs> uh, what made you change your mind and come down at the last minute? What's up? Well, Brad forbids me to sell the brake front, so I have to give Mr. Hopkinson back his $600, but the $600 is stuck in the barrel of Brad's shotgun. The one they got up there on deck? Oh, um, $600 in the barrel of a shotgun. Yeah, that gun is really loaded. Well, we, we just got to figure out a way to get the gun away from him, get the money out before they shoot it. Yeah, but how? Well, Brad's getting awful suspicious of me. You better go up on deck, and the first chance you get, sneak it down to me, huh? Okay, you know me. A friend in need is a friend in need. Uh, uh, hang this up, will you? Well, don't tell Wally either. Oh, okay. Up the anchor! Heave ho! I 
Take on Sally. Here it is. Here it is. Now, oh, hold it. I'll go back up and keep you from getting suspicious. you worry about me, dear. I'll be just fine. You just promise me that you won't go hunting until you eat first. <laughs> All right, dear. I'll drop a line and catch some more fish. All right. And hurry up with that food, Johnny. Here it
Two of the most beautiful ducks you ever saw. Tony, <laughs> why did you jump overboard when you know that you can't swim? I'll retrieve any duck with $600 in his mouth. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.